Hi. Uh, now we'll go for the, um, one more problem on isometric projection. The curved surface of a hemisphere of diameter 50 millimeter rests on the apex of a square pyramid of height 70 mm and base edge 40. So draw the isometric projection of the combination of the solid if they are coaxial. So we'll start here. I'll just show how uh, to go with isometric projection also in this problem. So let us say you have the XY line, your reference XY line. So now to draw the, uh, uh, the solid which is below on which the other solid is resting. So we have a pyramid of height, axis height 70 and base edge 40. So base edge is 40, so you can take a square rectangle by two points, rectangle by center, rectangle by three points. So three points is, you need to draw a square, not an issue. So give the dimension. So rectangle of uh, base edge of 40, So since it's a pyramid, so the lateral edges will be joined. This is how a pyramid will look and or when we just place a pyramid on space. So the axis is here. So the, if you observe why I'm doing this is I'm getting 91.11. Just always be careful so that you don't draw any lines which are not vertical or horizontal when it is required. So the axis height is 70. So there is no overlapping of any edge. So 70 will make it as a axis line, which is perpendicular. Okay. Now we'll just join. So this is how your simple pyramid will look, okay? Just bring it a little below downwards so that we can draw hemisphere on top of it. A curved hemisphere of diameter 50 mm rests on top of it. So diameter 50, 50 means the radius will be 25. So sweep angle here. So I have drawn here because I need to place it so that the point here sits exactly on the top of it. So I'll select this hemisphere, which is seen as a semicircle in front view, move it with the reference of the point here, and just place it on top. So if you just see, so I've just placed the hemisphere on top of it. Now I need to draw the circle at the center here. In the top view, we need to see how it is seen. So if it is hemisphere of diameter 50, naturally in the top view, so the diameter would be 50. Now, please observe, well, first in front view, what we will do is make all the edges visible. We'll show the dimension. Once you need to show the dimension here, Okay, in the top view, the circle is visible because that's what is there on top. Make it 0.5. So the pyramid, the portion of the pyramid would be visible, only the portion of the pyramid. So we'll just take it a little higher so that we get enough time. So we need to use split this line at the point of intersection, this line at the point of intersection, at the point of intersection. Similarly, please repeat.
split this line at the point of intersection. Now these portions of the line, these are the base edge and lateral edges of the pyramid, which are basically not covered by your hemisphere. So we'll make them fold. So all the other edges, you can just make them light. Here we'll make them gray so that it's not seen. Okay. Neither delete it or you can retain. So, so sorry, this is since this is your uh, orthographic projection, then we'll show them as hidden. Okay. So this portion, so these two, these are the lateral edges. These are the part of base edges which are hidden by the hemisphere. Now, again, simple, we'll start with the base or the solid uh, on which uh, the uh, hemisphere is resting. It's a, it's a square pyramid. It's a square pyramid. So square pyramid will make it, this is the base. So square pyramid of base 40. So 40 at an angle 30. 40 at an angle 150. 40 to an angle or parallel to this and angle just close it so we need to draw the axis now uh, we need to mark the center of the pyramid so from here what is the height of the its pyramid it's 70 70 will draw it we'll just close it one, two. So, let's just retain the edges which are visible. One, two, three. The edges which are not visible, we'll just delete it. So, this is the portion of your pyramid which is seen in isometric view. Now we need to place this hemisphere on top of it. So the diameter is 50. So we have to draw the, since the diameter or the surface of uh, the flat surface is seen as a circle, we'll draw it using a four center method. So 50, an angle of 30. So 50 again, at an angle of 150. 50 at an angle of uh, minus 150 or you draw the lines using the relationship of parallel and uh, perpendicular lines. So we know that. So the midpoint will join to the shorter radius of the rhombus. It's a rhombus here. So we'll draw the longer arc on the shorter radius. But I mean, we'll draw the long radius on the shorter diameter, and on the longer on the longer diagonal, we'll draw the 